Hey guys, so funny story, I just um, recorded my whole video and then I watched it and I realized I wasn't presenting my screen. So it was light out when I did the first video, but now it's dark out on my patio, so I hope you don't mind. I'm a little, you know, in the dark, but really you just needed to see my screen as I was pointing out your race template, okay? So I'm going to present my screen so you can actually see what I'm talking about. I apologize. It's a little dark out, but that's okay. Like I said, you just really need to see my screen. Okay, so today what you're going to do is you are going to put your race plan together to form your paragraph. Okay, so the prompt that you wrote to in your plan was what new or surprising information did you learn from this article? What does this information make you wonder about? Ooh, so we have two questions there. So yes, you need to restate and answer both questions. So you might want to restate and answer this question first in one sentence. And then this question, you might want to do that in a separate sentence. That's what I would suggest. Okay, so if you haven't done that already, I would just add that today. Okay, so for example, what new or surprising information did you learn from this article? Okay, you probably also want to include the title of the article. So you could say something like, I thought the most surprising information in the article, Earth is Interesting, was when I read about the plate tectonics moving. Okay, so that would be your first sentence. And then your second sentence, you would talk about what does this information make you wonder about. So this information makes me wonder about what the continents looked like long ago, 250 million years ago, maybe I want to say, okay? So that is your R and your A, your restate the question, your answer the question, okay? Those both go right in this box. Then for site text evidence, you can either quote from the article or you can, um, you don't have to use a quote, you can also um, just restate a part of the article in your own words. Um, I personally think using a quote's a little bit easier and it just makes, I think, your writing so much better. So let's say I want to take this quote right here. So about 250 million years ago, all of these continents made up one big supercontinent. We call it Pangaea. So if I'm going to quote this, I'm just going to retype this or since we are quoting it, I will give you permission if you want to copy and paste it, you can. The only thing we can't forget about to do is we have to put quotation marks around it. So you'd put quotation marks before this A and then after the period. And if you're wondering how to do quotation marks, it's shift and then that button to the left of the return button on your computer. So it's on the right side of your keyboard. Um, and they look like two little lines, okay? So those are your quotation marks. You need them before the quote and after the quote, okay? That's the one time you're allowed to copy from an article or copy from a book is when you put those quotation marks around it, okay? So just make sure that you say something about this is what the author stated, which I believe is one of your sentence starters right here. So according to the text, the author stated, all of these are wonderful sentence starters to put before your quote, okay? So you can write the sentence starter and then you can put your quote with the quotation marks and everything, okay? And then you can even give more than one piece of um, text evidence if you wanna be, you know, super special and awesome, okay? That would just make your teacher so happy if you did even more than one text evidence, okay? All right, again, we see some sentence starters down here, um, but let's talk about what this means. So explain what it means. Right here, you are justifying or you're giving reasoning on why this text evidence that you quoted here backs up your point about why it was the most surprising um, information or why it made you wonder, okay? I would actually explain both, why it was surprising and why it made you wonder, okay? So this should be in your own words, okay? And if you're in my homeroom class, you already know this, my favorite word of all time is because, because it makes your sentences so much better and you're actually telling more about your topic. So for example, I'm just gonna give you a random sentence. If I say, I love to play golf, 
well, that's kind of a boring sentence, right? It doesn't tell you much about like why I love golf. So to make that sentence better, to justify or to explain, I could say, I love to play golf because it is such great exercise and I love how challenging the sport is. Okay. So just that right there tells you more and it makes your sentence bigger and so much better. So make sure you use that word because especially in your reasoning, you might find yourself even justifying the evidence up here. Okay. And that is totally fine. So when you have each part, you have three parts here, right? Because your R and your A are together. You are going to copy. So to copy, you would highlight. Okay, obviously, I don't have words here, but I would highlight. And then do control C at the same time. Scroll down here and do control V. Now, notice how I'm copying, pasting in sections. So then I would copy and paste this section. If you copy and paste this all together, since it's in a table, it's going to get all messed up. So you'll just, you know, copy and paste three times. It really doesn't take that much longer. Okay, so control C after you highlight to copy. Control V to paste. Okay, and then your paragraphs here. Now, the most important thing you can do when you revise and edit is read through it and make sure it flows because we did this in chunks when we planned it out. We wanted to make sure that we had all these wonderful parts. Okay, so you just want to make sure it all flows together nicely. And it is okay, my friends, to tweak things right here. I, when I do this, when I write a race plan and then I write my paragraph, you should see how much I change, okay? I change a ton just to make it flow. Sometimes I add in transitions. Sometimes I change my word choice. Like if I saw that I'm starting the same, or the sentence is the same way. Let's say I'm starting every sentence with they. They are great. They are wonderful. You know, yada, yada. We don't want to start the same way each sentence, okay? You should have different words at the beginning of all your sentences, okay? Now, once you read through it and it flows nicely, then you're going to check for spelling, capitalization, punctuation, um, indent your paragraphs, all this good stuff. Spelling is easy because you have this wonderful tool called spell check up here. Since we're doing this on a computer, yes, you can use spell check. Now, be careful with spell check because your brain is way smarter than spell check. Sometimes spell check um, wants you to change words to completely different words that you don't even want in your paragraph. So just make sure before you hit um, accept or change or whatever it is to change your word, make sure it's the right word that you want to change it to. Okay. Um, of course, with capitalization, beginning of sentences and the letter I, proper noun. So any specific place like a country or a state or a name of someone, you always want to capitalize that. Punctuation, of course, at the end of sentences. Um, you always indent your paragraph at the beginning, okay? And I'll just show you my paragraph over here. So right here, see the space here? You just need that one indentation. Yes, I know these are three different parts, but they are not three different paragraphs, okay? So you're writing one paragraph, one indentation, okay? Just like that. Um, and then obviously we talked about how it flows. You need to do that. And then revising is the fun part. It's like you get to put all the toppings on your ice cream sundae, right? You have your good ice cream here, and then these are the toppings. So you can add in descriptive language. Um, anything to help your reader visualize what you have wrote. Obviously, when we read books, we love to have a picture going on in our mind, right, or a movie. Okay, we love to visualize what we are reading. So you should do that as a writer for whoever is reading your paragraph. Um, just make sure we have good word choice, good vocabulary. We're all starting vocabulary this week, so use some good vocabulary words if you can. Um, transition words, that will really um, be key when you read it over to make sure your writing flows to the next part. Um, of course, we want to have a good introduction, which if you restate the question, you answer the question, oh my gosh, your introduction is going to be so good. And then what you should also do is you should put the title of the article. So somewhere in here, you should have the article you read. Okay, you should state that. The article I read was Earth is Interesting. The surprising information was, okay, so always put that title of the article in your intro or somewhere in this box, okay? And then your closing, remember that goes here, 
sum it all up with a conclusion sentence. Make sure that your reader feels satisfied at the end, okay? All right, and then what I'm going to do for all of you, even if you're not in my homeroom class, I am going to share um, Sunglass Cat. So this article right here, if it's not in your Google Classroom, I will put it in there. This is my race plan and my um, paragraph that I wrote for the Sunglass Cat. And you can look at this if you like to look at examples, okay? So if you are not sure what should your um, reasoning should look like, then you can look at mine, okay? And maybe that will help you get some ideas. Um, look at all those beautiful becauses, wow. Four becauses in one paragraph. Oof, makes me so happy, that's my favorite word. Love it, okay. All right, friends, I think that's all I have for you. Um, I cannot wait to read your awesome paragraphs. I just know you're gonna rock this today. And thanks, Ooh, look how dark it is now. It's telling a spooky story it looks like. All right, friends, have a great Friday and I can't wait to read your writing.